Hey guys, what's going on? This is Benjamin with Benjamin's Exotics, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a common boa constrictor or red tail boa constrictor that I rescued out of a bad situation around eight months or so ago. Now, as you guys have probably noticed, I am holding a snake hook, and that is for good reason. This boa constrictor was not handled very much as a baby, I'm assuming, and from what the owners told me, that is true. So this guy is not the tamest, so there might be some striking at the camera, and hopefully it doesn't aim at the microphone, which I just thought about, which is right above the camera, but we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy out of the cage and see if we can get him up close for the cameras. Yep, he's definitely in a great mood today. So we're gonna try to do this, uh, two hands at first until this turns bad and he figures out that he can get away. But as you guys can see, this is an adult male red tail boa. I already have sexed him and everything. Uh, pretty close to sexing just like you would with a ball python. You can use probes or I wouldn't really like him popping too much. But with this guy right here, as you can see, he's definitely not in the best mood today. I'm trying to keep my face back so I don't get popped. And we're going to go ahead and probably switch to the snake stick. But as you guys can see, very pretty animal. And overall, he's just a normal, uh, from what I know. I'm not too big on the bow constrictor morphs. But he's got a very pretty, you know, marking and overall coloration. And we can go ahead and turn him around in a second. So you guys can get a shot of this beautiful tail. Now, I don't believe he's a true red tail boa. Because this tail, from what I've heard, is more of a rusty color. Which means that they're like a Colombian or something like that. But he's not the biggest boa constrictor male by any extent of the imagination. He's probably around five and a half, maybe barely getting to six feet. But we can go ahead and stretch him out with the snake hook in one second just to give you guys a full extent of his size. So as you guys can, oh dear, well, let's try that again. So as you guys can see, he is definitely a decent sized snake and hopefully he doesn't figure out that my face is back here and turn around. But this guy is probably, like I said, around five and a half, six feet, and absolutely amazing colors and everything. Very pretty animal. But like I said, his temperament isn't the best. And I probably should have actually grabbed a little bit of a longer snake hook, to be 100% honest. But let's get a shot of this guy's tail. I mean, this is just incredible. Take a look at that tail right there. Completely changes. You get sort of this granity color throughout the rest of the snake's body. And then when you get back to this tail, as you can see, there's just this red rust color. That's just absolutely amazing. I'm trying to keep my focus on his head. But take a look at that. That is absolutely stunning on this uh, common. I believe he's a common boa. A Colombian boa. You guys know what I'm talking about. The red tail boas. The ones that get about... Ugh. The ones that are going to get around, I think, six to eight feet for the females. Normally a little bit bigger females actually than six feet. Maybe like seven to uh, eight feet, something like that. And then the males will tend to stay a little bit smaller. And I don't think this guy's growth is stunted or anything, but he's a pretty decent size uh, boa from what I can see for a male. Now, like I said, I'm no boa expert, and this is not a species that I've worked with a ton. In fact, this is the only one that's ever been in this house that I'm currently at, but I have held them before and talked to different breeders about them and stuff. They're amazing animals, but as you guys can see, uh, this guy's temperament just is not the best, and I guarantee you that if I stuck my hand in front of his face right now, he would definitely tag me at the first chance that he got. Now, when we decided to take in this guy, he was at a home uh, for people, I'm not going to say that they were abusing him because they weren't by any stretch of the imagination, but you could tell that they had, you know, not been keeping up on all the chores and stuff, dirty cage, classic stuff like that. He had no health problems that I could see, but there were a few problems with his cage setup, mainly that there were lights and heat elements in there that could have burned this guy pretty badly, and thankfully he didn't get burned at all. No scale rot, and actually in perfect condition, but like they said, he, they, he wasn't really feeding great for them, and it was an animal that you could tell that they kept and that they loved, but it wasn't something that they were actually able to take care of anymore once he reached this size. Hopefully I've given you guys a good size comparison so you guys can see uh, the size of this snake and how actually big he is. And to be 100% honest, I don't have any snakes and I've never owned a snake uh, that's the size of this guy and I gotta watch out because if he, you know, I'm not really too scared about getting bit of a snake but this size, but if I can, I want to prevent it as much as possible because, uh... Despite what some people might tell you, these guys do have teeth, and if they bite you, it is going to do some damage. Nothing life-threatening, but you don't want to get bit by an animal of this size. But as you guys can see, he is focused in on that microphone, and that was the thing I was a little bit worried about. So hopefully he doesn't strike at the camera, but hey, if he does, you guys are going to get some sweet shots. Now, I will say that I have been working with this guy for a good amount of time, and I have spent probably a few... I'm not going to say 100 hours, but I've spent a good amount of hours uh, trying to get this guy's temperament to be a little bit better. And as you guys can see, he has tamed down compared to previous videos that we did on his temperament, but still, his head is cocked and ready. And 
will probably tag anything that goes in front of his face that might scare him. And he's really not doing this because he's a mean snake or because he's aggressive, but he's defensive, okay? He's scared that we're gonna eat him. He's scared of the microphone right now. And he's just trying to defend himself, making sure that he can survive in, you know, life. So overall, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video, and I know we don't touch on many other species besides ball pythons too much, but as you guys can see, I do keep a few other species of reptiles. I'm just hoping they doesn't go for that microphone above the camera. But if you guys do a few quick pairs before we go, get your eyes down and make sure to smash that like button, and also hit that big red subscribe button as well if you are new to the channel. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave it down in the comment section below. I want to thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.